After 44 days and 54 matches, we have reached the final day of the league phase of IPL 2019. That takes us to Mohali for the very first game. Punjab taking on Chennai. I'm joined in studio by Dan Mitori and Ajit Agarkar. It feels like a lifetime, right? 44 days, 54 matches, guys. How does it feel? Reminisce the good times? Uh, this studio feels like second. <laughs> yeah. I've only been here a few days. I'm fine. <laughs> six, <laughs> I just, six, I just yeah. here. Spend, a, spend a few time. nights here. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the double headers. Yeah. Okay, let's review the head-to-head -head in the previous meeting between these two sides. Uh, and uh, yeah, the 20 matches, 8 in favour of Punjab, 12 in favour of Chennai. Though at Mohali, it is Chennai who has a better record than the home side, though they would have such a record wherever they go and play, given their success rate in this tournament. Uh, let's first start now by looking at uh, Dan Matori's playing 11 for Punjab. I, th I think they'll go on with the same playing 11. I don't think there'll be too many changes. I think they, they feel like they, they stumbled on a, a combination with Sam Curran coming in there um, in that middle mm -hmm. order. Um, and they want to back their bowling. They need some bowling against Chennai. Um, and I think that that group of bowlers will, will come again for this game. Ajit, you're playing 11? Uh, I, th I don't think I've made a change uh, for Chennai. MS Dhoni doesn't very rarely makes any changes. Uh, if at all, looking at the conditions, perhaps uh, for Harbhajan Singh, if you want to get in uh, Shardul Thakur or somebody or another seamer, that might be the only change at Mohali. But uh, Harbhajan's bowled well against Chris Gale in particular. And... Uh, they they want Chris Gale out quickly, so I can't see them making too many changes. I think, uh, especially with the playoff coming, hmm. unless they want to give somebody a bit of a break, would, would you tired do that? bodies. Keeping in mind momentum and everything. Not really. I don't think MS Dhoni. That's it. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Dhoni doesn't really like to do that. That's why I said because there's a days gap plus the travel. Hmm. Uh, if there are a couple of tired bodies, if you want to give a break, that's the only case. But otherwise, uh, can't see them making too many changes. Dan, you want to do the maths on Punjab because uh, they have an outside, 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 outside chance of still making the playoffs. Six wins might get through. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll, fi we'll find out shortly, I suppose, where they can. But I think they're, they're the sort of team that once again started so well, they'll want to end well. Yeah. Um, it's been a you know tough back half of the season. So if they can beat Chennai at home, then that'll keep people happy for a little while. Hmm. Players to watch out for. Let's uh, take a look at uh, Ajit's. Players to watch out for Ajit yours. Oh, who I picked? Uh, Shane Watson. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sort of up and down season. One massive that 96 match winning 96. Hmm. Uh, uh, after a lot of persistence from uh, Chennai, keeping him in the 11, obviously winning helps. Uh, but uh, they'd want him to have another good innings if possible Big match before. Player. Yeah, and just before the playoffs, you want to be in a good space. A uh, great wicket to bat on as well hmm. uh, in Mohali. So if he can get runs for them, he just he he's the one guy in their sort of top order uh, who thrives on power. I think whether it's against spin or pace, uh, rest of them. I mean, they're all good players, hmm. but uh, don't have the necessary raw power that he has, uh, which can change the game very quickly. We saw him take down Rashid Khan uh, this season already. That's the kind of ability he has. So. Uh, just to get a nice innings before playoffs would be ideal for them. And Dan, I can see you've gone for Balle Balle Te Shava Shava Mandeep Singh as your player to watch out for. <laughs> I only pick New Zealand players or former yeah. RCB players. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones I know the most about. I, look, I think he's had a, a really good year. He was yeah. left out for maybe a game or two, which was perplexing. But I think that middle order has been, has been um, troublesome for, for Kings Eleven. They've relied on KL and Gal at the top. But I think Mandeep can provide that that stability. Um, he's a good player. He knows how to play in situations, and he can be very aggressive as well. So, look out for him in, in his hometown mm. um, to play well tomorrow. Mm. Uh, predictions, guys. Uh, difficult to go against Chennai. I mean, the one factor, Chris Gill's in Kings Eleven, mm. which can uh, you know sometimes you find it difficult to go against teams that Chris Gale plays for. But uh, I think Chennai at the moment are playing better than uh, uh, Kings Eleven. Generally, better team, more balanced team than them. So you'll have to back Chennai. I th the only thing that people think about is whether CSK take a day off, mm. and they very rarely do. So mm. I see them the turning up, um, wanting to win, wanting to take momentum into that that playoff game. Dan Vittori, Ajit Agarka, thank you so much for your time. The mood in the studio is that it's Chennai who will win their final league game of IPL 2019. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.